Good evening, and welcome to the Onyx Path Twitch channel. This is Haunted Chronicles and the Stuffed Chronicle. I'm glad to have you here this evening. Hope you caught the uh, intro slides there where we have the schedule on the Onyx Path channel for the week. Be sure to take a look at that. There's some great shows coming up on there. Uh, also, if you're interested, uh, Haunted Chronicles has a stream tomorrow night that has been running for over a year. Yeah. The Black Death Chronicle, so hopefully you want to jump in and catch that. And with that, I'm going to uh, let us roll to the intro, and we'll be back in just a minute. The following stream contains mature language and themes. Subjects that may be disturbing to some individuals will arise. Viewer discretion is advised. Tell me I'm, I'm mad, but I'm not mad. Not there. They're the ones who are mad. It, it's not madness. Let's see. I can see. Well, hello. So you've come to talk with your boy Twitch. Another week, huh? Interesting. Heard talk of activity over at the junkyard. It seems somebody's been building a whole new base of operations. The name Warren Osbert was even mentioned. Osberts. I knew some Osberts back in London. They were mixed up in some odd things. You know, Kiner, not very good at avoiding getting into things over their blood limit. Hmm. But that, I guess is a chronicle to tell at another time, don't you think? This group of woke kind, woke, yeah, uh, it's interesting. They need to, honestly, I think they need to focus their attention on the trouble at hand. Because I've heard that the kindred of Chicago, my fellow kindred, they don't like hunters messing around in their business after dark. I've also got word from an officer friend of mine that Ludlow managed to wake up. So glad. But he also has a story to tell. I wonder if he ever saw what was in the back seat. Or I wonder if they're going to make him pay for the damages. I'm going to have to ask about that. Interesting. The last little bit of news I have was uh, there was a short shooting down at the piers. And I don't know if I believe this. Well, I believe it. I don't know if you'll believe that it seems there was a bear wearing a police vest in a fight with gangbangers. Bulletproof bears. You know, I'm reminded of some old wisdom someone told me once. You see a bear, play dead. That way, you're getting some practice in. 
for when they kill you. That right there, are words to live by from your boy Twitch. Come back so we can talk some more. And, and it doesn't matter, because as long as I can see clearly, I, I can do what I have to do, because it's not right. This, 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 there's moral to the world. Good evening. Welcome back to the table, everybody. Everybody doing okay this evening? Doing all right? Great. Where we left off last week, you had all arrived at the junkyard. And it turns out that uh, Boris, a.k.a. Warren, uh, he already knew the guy who owns it. And he gave him the instructions to uh, open up the armory, which... Saw a few faces brighten up over that. So let's pick up from there. As Mr. Malone guides the group of you back into the back area. Past what looks like a row of cars that are stacked, but they seem to be leaning a little bit precariously. And he walks right under the arch of them where they're leaning over. And as you step through, he, he stops all of a sudden and, and points back at, at Rebecca Theron and says, Hey, 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 careful where you step. Are you an idiot? Sorry, shit. And he looks, right. he, he looks up and you can see the row of cars is kind of rocking back and forth a little bit. And a little bit to your, a little bit to your right, please. Slowly. Okay. I want to upset looks at, He turns and looks at Warren and. Are you sure these are the right people to be bringing in here? Then he walks up to what you couldn't tell from a distance, but now that you're up close to it, there's a door. He reaches out to it, puts his hand on the knob, and turns around to Warren. And, um, are you really sure this is necessary? Warren crosses his arms. Open the damn door. The door opens and you are suddenly bathed in light from the inside. As pitch black as it is in the junkyard, it is bright through this doorway. Warren's up in front of all of you, so he's got the first view. And he immediately falls to his knees. Wh what? Malone looks at him and... The guys in the red dresses, they cleared it, boss. Warren looks up, and those of you that are closest to him, you can see as the light from inside glints off a tear on his cheek as he says, Even they took... Where's Mary Bell? They took Mary Bell? Nah, boss. <laughs> uh... He turns beet red. I cursed my immortal soul. I, 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 I defied the red dress. And I kind of snuck a few things out. I have Mary Bell. A couple of guns and knives. I grabbed Sonaris, Kasari Gama, and the Tiger Claws. All Kasari Gama? Yeah. The hell? You know somebody trained with that thing? Oh, man, Sonara, she could use just about anything. Like, every weapon in her hand was like she was born with it. I got Paul's stun baton. Um, I got Patrice's stake. Warren stands up and embraces Malone, and they hug for a moment. Malone backs up. And, oh. And the chainsaw. I have the chainsaw. And they left the medical supplies. Oh! <laughs> they tried to take her books. <laughs> no fucking way. Yeah. And both of them almost fall on the ground. They are laughing so hard. Warren leans up against the cars for a second and then realizes what he's pushing on. Kind of lets go and steps back. All right. Well, 
You've got the stuff stored away. I don't even want to know where it is, Malone. Just bring it in. He turns to the rest of you. Well, I guess it's the time to show you inside. Let's see? You step inside, and there's a staircase that leads downward. When you reach the bottom of that, Warren steps up to this box on the wall, sticks his arm in it. You hear a noise, whirring of gears. He winces for a moment, then pulls his arm out, and the wall in front of you slides open. This is an Indiana Jones style trap or what? Uh, yeah, if you're not coded into it, it keeps your arm. That'll do it. Then it floods the place, starts a fire. I think it goes through all seven of the plagues. I think there's locusts in there at one point. <laughs> Assuming they didn't disarm all of that. So who are these uh, red dresses? You remember I mentioned there are uh, other groups yeah. that you kind of work your way up. We call them conspiracies because they focus on generally a given given uh, conspiracy, uh, a given thing that's being hidden. Some people look at the vampires. Some people, the werewolves. We hunted demons. So we were sponsored by, uh, we were sponsored by a religious group. And they came to take back what they had on loan? Well, it wasn't really on loan. We acquired all of it, but uh, you see, the church the church kind of has this thing about things that are brought in under the church's name belonging to the church. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, no, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. And you enter into a large room that has empty racks all along the walls. And yeah, this used to be full of weapons, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get what he brings. You guys can stock up. This place will be yours once we get you coded into it. Once Bilkin here learns how to run the, the, the wards and we can get you guys set up and it'll be great. Sure. Uh, does anyone, do any of you all, know how to use a weapon, a firearm, something like that? I can um, handle a weapon. And, and I, I know how to use a gun, but... Yeah, I know basically how to shoot. I don't use firearms. Uh, well, it looks like these, whatever the hell we're fighting, uh, prefer to get in close, at least from what we can tell so far. Hopefully they don't have firearms. Uh, can you, I don't know, use a knife? Hey, this Maybe. is, this is your opponent. I fought demons. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I, I, like I'm going to take a knife to a demon fight. And at this no, no, point, no. Malone walks in with a bunch of things. And Warren just totally loses track of you, runs over to him and yells, Mary Bell, and grabs a shovel that Malone's carrying. And he just hugs it. I've missed you, sweetheart. You fought demons with a shovel? Yeah. What else? I can dig it. <laughs> I like your style. You know what? For that... I'm going to let you hold. No, I'll think about it maybe later. And he puts Mary Bell on his shoulder. Mary Bell is a spade type shovel. The end of the spade uh, appears to be pure silver. Instead of the normal flat handle, it has a loop on the end of it. And there's a metal ring. Well, it looks to be metal. It's black. It's metallic. And it is carved with some kind of ruins, hieroglyphics, something on it. This is a hell of a thing. 
being introduced to the concept of demons and monsters and vampires and werewolves and armories and groups of people and 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 conspiracies and just I'm I'm so lost. What what do we what should we use to to kill these things? Do we need something with a heavy caliber bullet or I don't know, like a sword? <sighs> and he looks at you and just goes retired. What would be your professional recommendation as a retired person who has fought many horrifying creatures? Well, <clears throat> first thing I wouldn't do is take the parts of the deceased, whatever the heck it was I was fighting, and put them together someplace and leave them, because I have a feeling you're probably going to meet that guy again. Probably. All right, let me show you around the important stuff in here. Walks over to the right-hand side of the room, and this is the infirmary. He flips the light, and you see a surgical room, a full surgery. Shit. So it's pretty well equipped. It doesn't look like they messed with any of that stuff, which is nice. Um, yeah, they don't worry about the medical stuff too much anyway. Um, so any of you got any of you know how to use any of this stuff? I have basic medical training and first aid, but I mean, I'm no surgeon. So none of you've got any doctoring, huh? Uh, you I might said... want to work on that. My medic. mom's a nurse. I... Well, I, it's up to you if you want to bring your mom into the business, but, uh, you know, most moms, I think, are going to be a little sensitive about you uh, going out and fighting evil in the cause of, you know, um, rectifying the God machine. I just don't think they're going to get it. But hey, you know your mom better than I know your mom. I mean, I only slept with her like two or three times. Just kidding, just kidding, just an old joke. Yeah, and no, I should probably think it was some kind of cult, so not a good idea. Yeah. Uh, this over here is the escape hatch. Let's out into the sewers. Um, it's a bit of a run, a bit of a jog. There's a few traps along the way. So if you got to use it, be careful. Uh, it's kind of one of them. You got to be dexterous and uh, a little bit of athletic uh, to make it through there. So. But oh, I got one cover. If you ain't got any way other way out, you know, that could be your way. So. All right. So as you can see here on this wall, they left the cameras outside. So you've got the video links and you've got full video of the junkyard, including video inside what appears to be Malone's house. Damn, Anthony, this is a lot better than we thought it was going to be, huh? Yeah, I mean, look at this. Look at the tech. This, I, I, I mean, w with this, we have what we need. I, I, I mean, we could. Oh. You're, you you're... Get to it, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Before you get overexcited, there. Keep in mind, the machine provides, but there's going to be a cost somewhere. So are, are you offering these, like, to us? Hey, as far as I'm concerned, it's yours. I'm done. My crew's done. But not Mary Damn Bell. it, I'm going to miss Mary Bell. And he hands Mary Bell to Eddie. Oh, wow. What an honor. You, you take care of her. You be sweet to her. You keep her polished. She likes lemon oil on the handle, all right? Fair enough. I'll whisper sweet nothings to her. Don't do that. She might get a little attached. She has a little bit of emotional issues in there, so be a little careful with that. Um, and, uh, well, I don't know how else to say it to you, but uh, at some point, uh, find a little quiet space, sit down, and have a chat with her. Does she talk? So, 
Anyway, uh, you've got your security cameras here. There are several traps outside. I'm sure Mr. Malone can help you with those. When you're coming in around the cars, uh, try and stay at least two feet away from the cars, but not more than four feet away from the cars. So you've kind of got this little range. They say it's two feet wide, but I think it's more a foot and a half. Try and single file down that. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> the library. Uh, one warning, um, these books are on loan. They belong to somebody with a very long history and, um, the books don't leave the room. Okay. And he opens the door and you are immediately hit with the smell of aged books. I mean, there's no other smell like the aged paper of books that are hundreds of years old. So uh, everything in here should be okay to, to look at. Nothing should fall apart on you. But, and I cannot stress this enough, and me and Malone at the same time say, don't take the books out of the room. That's fine. Um. What happens if we take the books out of the room? Just as a and thought experiment. Both of them at the same time look at you and say, don't do it. Shit it. probably grenades like a grenade or something. I don't know, tears out your soul, some kind of magic. There's okay. magic in the fucking world. It's, 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 it's magic. It's some, it's some, yeah. Um. <clears throat> and it, it does what? Is there any benefit to us not knowing? I don't understand. Do me a favor. Why don't you go grab that volume over there and bring it out to me? I don't want to do that because you just said not to take the books out of the room. Now, if you could tell us what would happen if I was to go get that book and bring it out of the room. I assume it would cause you some kind of extreme pain but yes well you're making a mistake you. there because that is a potential trap that we could use while you are saying this you notice malone is crossing himself and stepping back away from the door it's kind of a experiential thing if i tell you it's not the same as uh have you done doing. it before no i'm not stupid does it kill you? I'm sorry. If it's an experiential thing, then you're saying you haven't experientialed it. I was here when it was made. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know the person who made it. I know what she's capable of. Does it kill you? You know, there are things worse than death. Does it maim you? I mean, you know, hear me out on this, and I could be wrong, but how about we just don't take the books out of the room? No, you're out and yeah. Yeah. just you go with that, that because yep. yes yeah. just just a reminder everyone there are killer stuffed animals on the loose and we're talking about the ifs and buts of books <laughs> can we uh, can we maybe focus a little bit yeah sorry. oh i i'm sorry we have this mystical room with a bunch of old tomes that come from who knows where and if I go in and I grab one of those books and I try to take it out, something terrible is going to happen to me, but he's not allowed to say what. Oh, and also, my leg is still fucked. Thank you for asking. Yes, that's the present concern, is the fact that there's a stuffed animal that tore your leg apart. The hypothetical Bill. of the books, the present yes, So the amount of energy is that a tell tiger me. mauled you. The amount of energy to explain to me exactly what would happen if I take one of those books out here is so infinitesimally minuscule i can't understand or comprehend why you wouldn't want to know if they if they want to keep their secrets Bilkins, let them if you want to get up over on the surgery table i'll take a look at your leg warren i've got our first aid experience Bilkins, uh warren grabs you by the shoulders and drags you over and if you wish to resist you can it'll be a strength check Yes, I'm going to resist. He shoves you through the door. I, I so try to resist here. Yeah. Roll, roll me a strength check. It doesn't go off my defense or something? Right. Not in this case, because he's not attacking yeah. you where you would be dodging. So. 
And if it, and since it's a surprise, you Is don't it, get defense it, on surprise. Okay, so it's just uh just straight straight strength on this. Straight. It's just strength straight bull resistance. One success. Uh yeah. He almost lifts you off the ground and carries you through and shoves you into the room. Closes the door and says, You can come out when you bring a book. I need you to make a wits and composure roll for me, please. Uh, okay. Yes. Did you Two have successes? All right. As soon as you cross the threshold into this room, you just get this feeling of impending doom. The place just feels... It feels like the end of the world. I knock on the door. Did you did you pick up a book? No. Let me out of here at once. No, go ahead and grab a book. It, I don't like it. It doesn't feel good in here. What's going to happen if I take a book? Look, Look, you I'm not going to I'm Just not going to have to patch him up more if he takes a fucking book, am I? Um Oh, for fuck's sake. I assure you all, this is very unpleasant, and I do not enjoy this in the slightest. Have them let me out. He's going to have to adjust his attitude. He's your lore person. And rituals and cults, these are the books are mainly for him. Uh, and I don't think the room likes him very much. Right. I, I, I assume I will that's take why a he's book. so curious. <laughs> I will take a book. All right. All right, I have a book. Now open the door. The knob's right in front of you. No, open the door. There's some trickery afoot. I don't want to touch the handle. You open the door. The door swings open, and you see a smiling Warren with his arms crossed. I throw the book at him. The book stops mid-frame in the door. A vortex appears in front of you that seems to go off into the distance, and you get a view of a room. It... There's, it's dim, but there's a light in it, and what you see looks like, you see hieroglyphics. I mean, actual Egyptian frickin' hieroglyphics. You see four stone sepulchers across this room, and you hear a voice. After so long, I hunger! And you see a claw begin to reach forward towards you out of this vortex. I run. Which way? Backwards from the claw. <laughs> All right. The book is still hanging in the door frame, by the way. The claw is going to reach out, and I need you to make another wits and composure. This is going to be at a minus two, your die pool. After this, can I kick the book back into the fucking room? <laughs> You are can they all can that. they all see that? They see the portal, oh, that, they see the They claw. see I'll, I'll give what they see is the book hanging in the door frame and you stepping backwards. And then all of a sudden they see a giant claw coming out of the middle of nowhere headed towards you. Holy shit. I got back. Two, two successes. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh it's a little unnerving for you, but uh let's see how this goes. Not bad. You're able to stand your ground against it as the hand moves closer. Uh, yeah, it hits the walls and you start seeing scratch marks forming. And then you realize there are other scratch marks on these walls. This isn't the first time that this has happened. And at this point, Rebecca, I think you were going to knock the book into the room. Yeah. <sighs> you knock the book into the room and Vulcan's the vortex disappears, the claw just vanishes in front of you, just like smoke. What the hell was that, Bilkins? What did you see? I, I'm sorry, we couldn't explain the giant claw that comes out of a hidden dimension portal? For what reason? And Warren goes, 
and you hear in the back of your head, Wilkins, I still see you. Um, are you the box? No, that's, uh, that's Sage's guardian. Excellent. I feel like this all could have been explained 30 seconds ago before I threw the book out of the room. Well, if I had know. said, you're going to take the book, it's going to open this thing, you're going to see something, a clause. Could... No, 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 no. You've lived it now. Oh, I, I'm sorry. We live in a world where stuffed animals can attack you out of nowhere. So I'm, I'm fully prepared to believe in vortex claws. <laughs> All right. Well, Harley's laughing really loudly, but <laughs> Harley's just losing oh. it. <laughs> Well, she's apologizing. She's like, I'm, so, I'm sorry. And she, just, she keeps laughing. Warren picks the book up and puts it on the shelf. He walks over and puts his arm around Bilkins and goes, really? I just wanted to see if you were going to be dumb enough to actually, you know, stand up to it and, and see. I've never seen what actually happens. Usually everybody chickens out by then. I kind of, kind of wanted to see. Yes, Penelope. During this whole time, uh, Penelope would have been examining the weapons that were brought out for us okay um what was that what was brought out again you you mentioned me, so I'll, I'll hit that let let bilkins say what he's going to say and i'll hit no that worries. in just a moment mr bilkins well maybe when you've exhausted your enjoyment of your miserable existence you can try to find out on your own you know i I want I'm sorry, sage. where is the medicine cabinet? And he, he tries to peel the arm off your shoulder, <laughs> off his shoulder. And he's uh, in the infirmary. Excellent. And uh, Bilkins hightails it towards the medicine cabinet just to <laughs> see what's over there. I detect the distinct note of urine. Well, anyway. All right, well, now that that bit of shit is out of the way. What do we got for weapons <laughs> over there, Penelope? All right, Penelope, uh, there is a chainsaw. Uh, it appears to have a silver blade. Interesting. The uh, actual rail, rail for the blade is made of copper. And as a matter of fact, a lot of it is made out of copper. Okay. Uh, there is a Kasari Gama. Uh, it's basically a handle with a long chain with a blade on the end of it. To right. Google. <laughs> Everyone who wants to Google that, that is K U S A R I space G A M A. Kasari Gama. Or you can watch just about any old martial arts flick. That's cool. kind of like a sickle with a ball and chain, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's several different types, but that's this one, yes. Oh, that's real cool, actually. Uh, there is, well, there's an AK-47, a couple of ARs, Mossberg shotgun, uh, slightly modified. Uh, there's a Keltec shotgun, which is kind of interesting because it looks a lot like the Mossberg, um, except instead of having a single set of magazines, it has dual magazines, so this thing must hold at least... 15 to 20 rounds of ammunition. Uh, there are boxes of shells of all different type of things. Uh, little notes on them, like one of them's called the Ant Eater. Damn. One of them's called the like Flaming a, Bob. Yeah. It could street sweep pretty easily. <laughs> oh, he has one named uh he has one named Hot Barbie. And did you also say there was tiger claws? There are a set of tiger claws that strap onto your hands, and they're designed that they can actually go down into the sleeve. And if you were to flick your hands really hard, they would pop up and lock so that you could use them. So tiger claws, meaning they're made of metal, but they look like claws of a yeah. tiger. Very similar to what you fought, except they're not made out of forks. You gotta understand, Warren, this shit is crazy. Uh... Six hours ago, we didn't know any of this shit. We knew that there might be something weird going on, and now we're, like, armoring up to fight evil. 
This he is looks, fucking. <sighs> he looks at his own wounds. He looks at Anthony's wounds. He points to where Bilkins has gone into the infirmary. I think the fight came to you. Well, yeah, well, actually, it came to you, and we went to it, but... Well, I don't I think it was be. looking for me. It was just mad. I wonder how it's... I wonder how pissed it is now. God only knows. I mean, at least I apologize to it. Is that... Well, that'll something? solve everything. Look, listen, it's a start. If they can understand, maybe we can communicate with it. Uh, so... There is a nightstick that has a big red button, thumb button on it. Um, there is a metal, metal, a wooden, a piece of wood about this big that's carved to a sharp point, and it appears to have several different colors of dried blood. So it's like it's been used over and over, and there are different rings for how far the blood went onto it. And the very tip of it, about an inch back is broken off. There are some handguns. There's a taser. There's some mace. Well, a couple of sets of handcuffs. If I'm going to be fighting evil superhero or, or, or not superhero, but super, I don't know, evil style. Give me what kind of heavy handguns you got over there? Oh, let's see. Uh, I think there's a couple of 1911s. Oh, is that is that Patrice's? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the Springfield was Patrice's. It's a pretty good gun. It'll, it'll hold up for you. Nine millimeter, yeah. but uh, double stack mag. Uh, there ought to. Uh, I don't know. I don't see her ammo pouch, but yeah, I ought to have a couple of mag holders around here as well. Probably a holster if you look around. Wilkins shouts from the other room, don't give her any more guns. She she can't even keep track of the one she has now. Oh, eat my ass, Bilkins. None of us knew the thing would reform. Oh, the shooting range is over there in the left-hand corner. Just go up, place your hand on the wall, and it'll open up. and So you can practice shooting in there. Make sure you close oh. the door behind you, and it's uh, relatively soundproof. Have hearing protection because it's relatively soundproof. The sound doesn't get out. It stays in. It can be very loud. So. Yeah. You got anything that shoots in uh, 44? Uh, <laughs> Malone? He goes, uh, what would you like? I can have it here for you tomorrow. Oh, God. Uh, hell. It's the heaviest you can get me. I mean, anything from like a, a, a Taurus, <laughs> if you can get your hands on one of those. Maybe something snub nose. I don't know. Six inch barrel. Um, he looks over at Warren. Um, do they have access? Yeah, they have access to those funds. It's not a lot. I don't know what's left in there. I don't know if the red dress boys took them or not. But whatever's available, go ahead and let them have it. I'm good. Do you have a room for uh, martial weapons? And she picks up the kiss. Sorry, Gamma. Kusari Gama. Kusari Gama. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Um, well, all the weapons were out here um, on the racks, so I'm afraid this is what's left. I mean, is there a way, is there a place to practice with them? There's a shooting range, is there? Um, Target dummies or something. That's a good point. You know, we never set one of those up. I mean, I know a place where we could train, a place that we both know, and... It'd be a bit weird if I bought in some, like, something like this and she also gestures towards the tiger claws. <laughs> like... well, hey, you've never sparred I... with a guy with a shovel before, have you? No. Sensei doesn't use the studio all the time, and I'm sure he'd be fine to let us in. I, I, I don't see why it would be a problem. I can get us arranged and some target dummies down at the uh, station as well if we need it. So what's everyone feeling? Uh, what, do I, what do I find in the medicine cabinet? A little bit of everything. It is very well stocked. Um, 
like bottles of things like like specifically let's say like a bottle of painkillers and a bottle of like anxiety pills something like that there there is one cabinet that is filled with what appear to be homemade remedies there's leaves uh sticks different things in different you know vials that are colored none of it's labeled the other one actually has regular pill bottles they are all labeled you can find painkillers antibiotics you name it yeah, Bilkins goes for the hard stuff. Um painkillers and uh he he only grabs like three pills and then he kind of reaches back and grabs two more and then he does the same thing with the anxiety pill bottle. Um, <laughs> okay, very good. He doesn't take any of them yet. Okay. Um but he'll come back and look at the uh look at the weapon rack and you said there was a uh what was what was the thing with the red button? It was like a baton uh, thingy. It's like a baton, yeah. Yeah, everything else was guns, so Bilkins is gonna gonna grab that baton and try to figure out what it does without asking. All right. Or pushing the button. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh it looks like a, a stick that you could beat the snot out of somebody with. Uh, but it is inlaid with metal. So it's like black and the metal is anodized, so that even shows, you know, it's like a webbing that's all across it. So very tough, very you light any- weight. You didn't say anything about a flamethrower, right? Nothing uh, flamey. I did not specifically mention a flamethrower. That is correct. Okay. I'll I'll grab this thing. Okay. And uh, Malone's going to go. Uh, be careful where you point that thing when you push the button. Um, I'll, I'll figure it out. Thank you. <laughs> I noticed you have some handguns. Bit. And if you'll pardon me for getting technical here, I'd like something that fits in my jacket and goes bang when I pull the trigger. Um, Block 26. Sounds good to me. All right. So he hands you a G26 and three mags. And he's going to hit the shooting range. Um, we've got uh, target ammo there. Uh, you're welcome to use the fulminated mercury bullets. Uh, just keep in mind that they are explosive, so please, uh, you know, don't tear up the, hmm. the what? backstop too much. What are those for killing? Everything. Sure. <laughs> he points over. Yeah. Okay. Might join you. I don't have much experience with firearms. Uh, yeah, give me a, a rifle. So, there are four, we will say that there are four handguns. Uh, the G26 has been claimed already. Uh, again, we've got the shotgun, an AK, an AR. And there's also a sniper rifle. Nice styre. Grab me that sniper rifle. I'll uh, get some shots in with that, see how accurate I am. All right. Uh, Very good. And handgun, yeah, tomorrow. I've already got my standard issue lock, so... Having something with a lot of stopping power sounds really good against these things. Warren's going to walk over to Harley and go, um, do you want something to defend yourself? I mean, have you had any kind of training in fighting or anything? Um, Um, No, (laughs) not really. The, the, The most recent fight that we had, I, um, I, I didn't really do anything. Um, I'm not. I'm not really sure what to take. I'm not really sure what to use, um, or how to use anything that I do take. I, I, I want to be more helpful than I was, but um, I'm just. I'm just. That's not really my thing. He is going to grab a piece of wood, and nearby it is a leather pouch with a belt on it, and he's going to place it down in it and hand it to you and this is kind of the the last ditch weapon um but sometimes you can only run so far sometimes it comes after you and you just gotta fight and this is this is the most simple weapon outside of a rock it works two ways you beat them with it or you stab them with it. Oh, um, okay. This is a very special wood. And it belonged to a very special friend of mine. And 
she died using it to save some of us. Um, oh, so. well, I, 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 I'm very happy to have this then. Thank you. Just treat it with respect and it'll take care of you. And don't let it throw you off that she died using it. I mean, it was overwhelming odds and all. I mean, no, I don't mean that it's no, not good. No, don't get, I, oh God, I, I shouldn't have told you about that. Ah, crap. No, um, no, no, no. I'm, 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 I, I, like I said, I just, I want, I want it to be more useful. If anything, that kind of, I don't know. It makes me happy in a way. I mean, not that she died. That is unfortunate, but um, that to, to wield something that I know is capable of allowing me to do something like, you know, so put it, putting myself out on the line for others is, uh, that's, that's, that's a good weapon for me. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Thank you. All right. And with that, uh, we will leave you all to do whatever training and stuff you want. We can all role play through it, or you can just spend time uh, making the effort with whatever you're doing. It is getting to be the wee hours of the morning at this point. Option shots with the, uh, the uh, sniper rifle and then uh, definitely interested in that sweet, sweet, that street sweeper, like double mag loaded shotgun as well. Okay. That's it crazy. is, it is heavy. Once it is loaded up, that sucker is heavy, but it definitely holds a lot. And it's an interesting mechanism, uh, for each pump of it. It's got a little handle on it for each pump of it. It feeds from alternating on the magazine. The hell? I ain't never seen anything like this before. Hartley, maybe get your hands on that AR. That's a pretty easy, pretty light rifle for you. If you know how to shoot. If not, I'll I'll teach you. How uh just a quick question. How how lightweight is the chainsaw? Uh not very. Chainsaws tend to be heavy enough. Uh you gotta have at least a strength of three to wield it. Okay. Um, it is a two-handed weapon. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, I feel like Penelope's looking at it and she's like really excited about it, realizes it's probably not the thing for her, and is trying to give it to someone because it seems really cool and important. <laughs> like She's like, everyone, everyone, she's like, that would be really cool, this chainsaw. You like that? <laughs> I've always no. heard that using that as a, a, a weapon would be extremely dangerous to the user. But, I mean, if you can muster the strength to hold it. Oh, I'm not right. strong enough to do this one. I'm feeling this, and she'll kind of twirl the the Kusurigama. Kusurigama. The chain knife. Let's just go with the, the chain knife. The chain knife. <laughs> uh, shit, I don't know. Anthony, you interested in a chainsaw? Well, not 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 really. Uh, actually, I was uh, kind of excited by those tiger claws, and and uh, well, not the shotgun you're holding. That's uh, a bit much. But but the other one, uh, that kind of reminds me of my uh, well. Hell yeah, nothing wrong with the stock standard. <sighs> uh, Bilkins, what are you what are you picking up? The baton? Anything else? You know, you don't know how to fire a weapon, do you? I fire. I already made it clear I'm not a fan of firearms, and as you can see, I have this thing. So I'm good. Thank you. I'm gonna go see how to work the safety runes or whatever. With the security system, I don't know fucking know what's happening here anymore. Yeah, I'll, maybe the. Yeah. What, Eddie? What? Do you uh, have something else to say? Yeah, maybe the professor can offend them with his acerbic wit. <laughs> am Am I the professor now? Hey, Mister Bilkins, why don't we go check out the runes and uh, look into the defenses here? Because these cameras, uh, I, I, all of the security systems, are, I'm sure, are tied together somehow. So me and you should work together on this. How about that? Uh, you know, you know how to do runes all of a sudden, Anthony? No, you, sir, but I would overnight. like to learn. I would Excellent. like to learn, and even more so, 
again, there's other defenses that are clearly non um, ancient runes, and you're, well, not to put it too bluntly, but your computer skills are somewhat wanting. Maybe there's some books on it in that library, too. <laughs> you're right, Anthony. Let's go. <sighs> I uh, try. I, I spent some time working with the the chain knife and, and and also kind of sparring with Harley, trying to not 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 with it, but like trying to get her to to come at me and and maybe try and teach her a few things, um, at least self defense wise. Um, after um, doing that for a little bit, maybe head to the shooting range with Rebecca and Eddie and and try and like just learn how to use a pistol um if if they have them spare um because i feel like a long range one would be good um no, uh, no go on sorry would anyone like to teach me the uh ancient ancient mm, ancient tradition of uh shovel fighting uh, i i assume it's similar to the ancient tradition of uh piece of wood so after sparring with Penelope, um, Harley would love to go kind of back. Warren walks over and puts his hand out for you to hand it to him. Hands it to the him. shovel or the, the blank? The shovel. The shovel. Oh. And he uh right. he points at he points at Anthony and goes, um, could you come for a moment? Uh uh, yes. Nobody uh, else in here is going to survive this. I think you've got a chance. All right. Hey, um, m- got Mr. a pretty Pilkins, good I'll... shot there. I I don't think a a, a shot's going to matter if if the shovel's at play. But, um, uh, Mr. Wilkins, I'll, I'll be right with you. I I just need to take care of this because I don't want anybody else to die. I'm I'm sorry. Are we testing out more impossible things? without actually telling us what it does. Is that what's happening here now? I suppose we're going to find out, aren't we? Here to be wild. Our friend here asked how to fight with a shovel. I'm going to show him how to fight with a shovel. Could you, could you give him a diagram or walk him through it slowly? You have to use it on someone? Wilkins, this ain't the art of war, fuck's sake. Just let the man do his thing. If you're busy, I'll gladly take the shovel fight. And she uh, kind of props herself up like almost like she's trying to prove something much shorter than Anthony and smaller, but she's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Did I just wake up from a coma? A moment ago, he said, I can't tell you what this thing does. And then all of a sudden there's a claw coming out of a portal, out of a book, and it's coming oh straight towards God. me and it's clawing up the walls. And now he's going to demonstrate shovel fighting, and he's saying, Anthony, be careful. It might hurt someone else, but I need you to do it. This doesn't concern anyone else? Well, oh, actually, go ahead, Anthony. Fight with the shovel. Why not well, both you know, I notice you're not speaking up, Miss Phillips. If you're worried about no, anything, I'm not, I'll cause... do it, but... Honestly, I think he can take it. He's a big boy. Can we put him back in timeout with the claw thing? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll stand here and watch. Anthony, go ahead. Demonstrate Warren walks over to Eddie shovel. and uh, takes something out of his pocket and places it in his hand. It's a skeleton key. <laughs> and he just... Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, how about uh, both you, uh, Penelope and Anthony? I'm a little rusty, so take it easy on me. And he picks this, the shovel up by the handle, swings it around his head like a blade, and stops it just short of Penelope's face. Shit, both y'all be block. careful. Man knows what he's doing. You, you gotta block better than that. You gotta block better than that. Uh. What is your defense, Anthony? Uh, while I'm unarmed, it'll be four. Okay. Penelope? Uh, five. Now, um, I'm going to try not to, to hurt you too bad, 
Um, so um, just keep that in mind. All right. Oh, by the way, if you decide to attack him, his defense is six. I'm not going to try and attack, but am I able to try and block? Uh, yeah. If you would like, if you're going to try and dodge and block, you have your normal defense, okay? But you can also choose to roll your defense as a die pool. Okay, and that will help uh, any damage be deflected from it. Okay. It doesn't actually stop them from hitting. But So you roll five dice? It, if that's what you would like to do. It's however you want to use it. Yeah, sure. Um, Can I attempt to use my new weapon? To try uh, as a defensive thing? You haven't used it before. I don't think you've trained in this uh, weapon at all yet. Yeah, but you do have some long. martial arts training, correct? Um, I do not. Well, backstory-wise, yes. Uh, Merit-wise, no. Merit-wise, no. Okay, well, let's just uh, go with uh, Dexterity and Brawl. And that'll be your... Well, let's use that as your defense instead of your defense roll. That's less. But I'll do it. Oh, well, that's not good then. Use the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have four. But we have to work roll. on your fighter training, people. Oh. Yeah. Uh, two successes. He takes the shovel, swings it around, and hits you. He, he actually moves past and hits you on the butt and knocks you forward, and you're going to take one bashing damage. Hey, uh. He kind of twirls it around in his hand a little bit and goes, ah, it's been a while. And then he's going to take a swing at Anthony. You going to roll your defense, Anthony, or are you just going to use it straight? Your choice. I was going to ask if I could uh, attempt a defensive strike before he tries to hit me. Oh, absolutely. Please do. And I'll be subtracting two from my attack. So uh, that'll bring and my six, defense. And six for his defense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so that'll bring me down to a luck die, but it'll bring my defense up to a six. And that is a fail on the luck die. <laughs> Not a one. You but... come in. You come in. Well, what, what type of attack is it? Tell me what you're doing. Uh, I would be going for a series of quick punches. All right. You come in for the punch, and he just sits here and kind of takes the shovel and just twists it back and forth. And so every time you come in, it's like, pong tongue it actually rings a little bit as he does it and when he's and at the end of it when you're done with that your defense is six or four pardon me four i'm horrible with numbers it'll be six does. now with the defensive strike because i ah, yeah. cool he still gets you he comes around and he takes the shovel and just plants it right on your forehead you're going to take a bashing damage from that and it, it, you actually hear as the shovel rings and it hits. It's like, bang! That's why we call her Mary Bell. Damn. You're fast with that thing. So he, he literally turns his back on the other two and is talking to Eddie and going, so basically, um, shove it at him, swing it at him, you know, whatever you got to do. Duly noted. So, are either of you going to do everything, anything while his back is turned? Going to look at Penelope and just indicate I come in from the left, you go in from the right. Okay. In that case, I am going to roll his defense. So, you guys go ahead and roll your attacks. Uh, if you're. If it's an unarmed attack, it's just strength and brawl. Uh, if you're going to use your new chain weapon, which you aren't really skilled with, but I'm going to still give you a die for using a weapon. So. Cool. Yeah, I want. I want to try it. I want to give it a go. I'm aiming for his butt. Come. I'm gonna spend a willpower on this. <laughs> All I right. I want to hit him now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got a one. <laughs> just a one. I got four, oh. I got three fours and a one. That is a complete dramatic failure there. I love it. Okay. You got one success. Well, <clears throat> considering his three successes, 
Uh, tell me about how your attacks go forward as you charge in here. Tell me what's going on, and I'll tell you how it plays out. So, uh, Penelope, first, what were you doing as you came running in? My idea was to try and, like, lasso kind of... So it, the weapon, as you saw, it was hook weapons and pull people in. She was going to go for his leg. Uh -huh. And then when he got close, like, to pull him close, and then when he got close, was going to, like, hit his butt <laughs> with the butt end of the, the thing. Right. Um, <laughs> that was my plan. <laughs> you swing this at him. Your skill's a little bit off. You hit the ground, and it skips past as you go to hit him with the butt of the handle he actually hooks that in the ring of the shovel picks it up twirls it and flips you over and you end up landing on your back in front of him and anthony what are you doing at this point well incidentally i think we both had the same idea because i was <laughs> going to try to slide in and sweep his leg <laughs> he he will as you slide in he will just step back and you smack into uh, Penelope. You're fast for an old man. Mm -hmm. No, oh, they're just really, really slow. <sighs> he looks right, down well. at both of them and goes, uh, is that enough? I think so. I I don't. It's almost as bad as fighting sensei. <laughs> Let me just lay here in my shame. He walks over and hands the shovel the shovel back to Eddie. Eddie accepts it with a new sense of respect. <laughs> I'm sure you can find a tree or something to practice with. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It'll it'll cut through a lot of limbs. I mean, that's pretty sharp in there, so just keep that in mind. Thanks for telling us that before hitting us with it. She yells, like, while laying on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I once shoved that through the door of a Jeep. So Damn. Just, uh, you know. Like I said, spend a little time talking to Mary Bell. Get to know her. Uh, if, if Penelope's on the ground, I'll help her back up. It's all right. You're good. All right. So I assume you guys are going to keep this up all night as all this is going on. Nice new toys and everything. Um, at some point, Warren's going to walk over to Bilkins and go, Bilkins, I need to show you the most important thing in this place. And he puts his arm around him again and starts walking him over and Kind of looks back. I would try to follow them. I mean, um, you really should go practice. I think you and Penelope need to practice a little bit there, uh, Mr. Anthony, if you don't mind. Well, I uh, was going to help Mr. Bilkins, and, and I think if you're going to show him something, that it, it ought to be nice if he had his assistant with him. Isn't that right, Mr. Bilkins? Um, I'm I'm not sure. Uh, we're not we're not telling anyone what we're doing anymore. We're just going to go and do dangerous things and attack random people. So anything could be happening. I'm 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 stymied, Anthony. Well, you could, can he come? Can he can he come? He is my assistant. It would be best. Whatever, he, whatever, whatever. This is my private medicine stash. And he walks over to a place that if you look at the wall, you can see where now that you're looking at it, you can see the crack in it. But obviously it's something that was hand done. And he kind of twists the panel a little bit and pops it off. And behind it is this miraculous stash. Some of the best scotch, whiskey, and tequilas you've ever seen. I, I don't know why you're showing me this. I'm sober. I have been for quite some time. Oh, I misunderstood. Uh, never mind then. And he puts the panel back over it. No, uh, you can leave it off. We might need the scotch for um, bribery well, um, or something. Um, I'm fine if you do that. But if the red dress guys come back, don't let them find it. They're kind of a little bit down on uh, um, um, this. Um, who are the red dress guys? <clears throat> he leans over and whispers. 
dark side of the Vatican. And why are they involved? I thought you were retired. I am. But, uh, you're taking over our stronghold. Are we going to be expected to fight demons as well? I... We almost got destroyed by a stuffed animal. You know, you make a good point there. Uh, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on what happens for you guys. I didn't pick you, the machine did, you know. We all answer to the machine at some point or another. Maybe now that the machine knows... can find us a Build-A-Bear workshop to sponsor us instead of the Vatican. <laughs> Wait a minute. Would that be building an army of enemies or an army of friends? You're right. I didn't think that all the way through. Mm, yeah. Well, anyway. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, it's bedtime. I'm going to go find me a good trash pal somewhere and take a nap. Uh, when are we going to go over the runes? Oh, crap. All right. And so he will work with you for the next hour going over different things. And as he does, he shows you what's there, tells you what it means from what he knows. And he's like, now this may be a little off because this wasn't my specialty. This was Sage's thing. So, and he erases it. Says it won't do you any good anyway. You're not dealing with demons. You need to figure out your own ways to protect this place. So, if you are going to attempt to draw ruins around this place, ruins, not ruins, to uh, protect it, I'm going to need a wits and a cult from you. And there are five of them to replace if you would like to do this. So I'm, I'm rolling five, five times? or Yep, five times. Yep. And each roll, okay. each roll would be the equivalent of about 30 minutes of time doing this. So everybody else is doing other stuff while we're messing around here. So I got I got uh, nothing for the first, um, and then I got one success for the two follow-on ones. Okay. Oh, uh, you said five times, and yep. I did three. Okay. Do you, do you want all of them? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Um. All right. So for the first one. Um, two successes, uh, three successes, oh, sorry, four successes, and then, uh, one success, one success, one failure, or not, not failure, just nothing. Just a zero. Yeah. He looks at a couple of them and goes, oh, that's not bad. And he goes back to the, to that very first one you did. And he looks at it and goes, <laughs> now I may be reading this wrong. Are you really trying to keep out? The essence of porcupines. I, I, I don't know. Are there porcupine teddy bears? It's clearly As, wrong. Just tell me how to fix it. All right. He, he scratches through it and he goes, go hit the books. <sighs> Fine. So we'll have you doing some academic research. Well, he's off doing this, looking, and the rest of you are doing whatever you're doing around the space, learning what's going on and everything. He walks over to Rebecca and says, well, I guess we better get somebody uh, logged into the system. Sure. Let's, uh, let's get it done then. And he takes you up to the front door. On the inside panel, he opens it up. And it's not like any keyboard you've ever seen. It's it's buttons, but the symbols on it make no sense whatsoever. Very cryptic. And he types in a series of things on it, and it turns kind of a goldish green. <clears throat> and he says, okay, stick your arm in. Uh, sure. Why not? Just all the way to the back, as far as it'll go. Fingers touching the <sighs> back of it. All right. And he goes, okay, and he hits a button, and you feel a pain, like somebody shoved a nail through your arm. Oh, God! Don't, 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 don't. Just stay put. All right. 
All right, it'll I'm stop. Stamp- it'll stop. All right, all right. Uh, come around here and uh, type in your code. Oh God, that hurt. Oh. Uh, okay, my code. Yeah, just pick whatever symbols. Type it in. Don't ask me what they mean. I don't know. We stole this. Oh God. Okay. Uh... And I'll type in a code of the symbols I think look the coolest. Remember that code. Don't get it wrong because, well, you just won't like the results. And uh, you are now the owner of the domain. I am no longer logged into the system. You need to uh, get the rest of your crew signed into it. Uh, Just type in your code up there. Hit that little button in the bottom left-hand corner. Have them stick their arm in. Hit the button on the bottom right-hand corner. And they're logged in. All right. Uh, is my arm okay, by the way? Yeah, you see a little red dot on it. Weird. All right. Yeah, don't ask me what that does. I don't know. And he, you can see he's got this. It, 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 it goes away. You know, after a couple of days. Um. I don't know. It's doing something. All right. I'll uh, I'll get the rest of the crew, I guess, uh, signed up. <sighs> Bilkins, what would you like to protect this space against? Uh, with that one. Yep. So the other runes were already like they're just like general protection stuff. General this protection one's like a kind of thing. Specific. Yep. yep. This one is specific for some type of entity you want to keep out. And I'm going to let you determine what it is and narrow that down from there. Hmm. Okay, Bilkins, you you can come back to me uh, in a little bit, but Bilkins is going to go and kind of space out in the entrance to the library. He's not actually going to, he's just going to kind of like, like really like think about what he wants to like protect, protect against. No problem. And any of the rest of you, anything particular you're doing besides being logged into the system? Uh, just shooting just guns. Training. That's basically it. Just just learning yeah. the weapon, like a helmet. All right. After uh, seeing the system, I would want to head to the library and see if there was any books on the system. Uh, whatever these sigils are on this keyboard, I want to know what they are. Interesting. Okay. Uh, That is going to be an intelligence and academics for you. Rebecca, your phone rings. It says unknown number. Interesting. All right. Hang on. Don't fire any shots for a moment. Hello. My name's Alyssa. Ludlow wants to speak to you. Click. Uh. Right. So, that was weird. Uh. Warren, I just got a call from someone named Alyssa. Sounded like a small child. No idea who the hell that was. But I think we need to go check on Ludlow. Is anyone in the the range with me um, right now? That's up to you all where everybody is, so. Probably by this point, I'd be uh, doing it. Um, I mean, what what time of day roughly is it? Uh, At this point, it's probably about seven or eight in the morning with everything that's been going on, so. So, and nobody um, slept all night, just to be clear. <laughs> did you want to um, head over first? Uh, yeah, we should probably at least see what's going on. But I didn't want to go alone, you know. I'm kind of wary at the moment. Maybe we should go and at least pax it too. Uh, you want to stay here, Penelope? Or you want to come with? Um, I don't mind. I'm happy to do either. Um, I don't know if Ludlow would appreciate 
me going I'm trying to think who 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 might be the best bet Harley might be a good choice she's yeah. sensible and I don't think she's ever broken the law before so I doubt she would have had run-ins with the police yeah and I could I could sell her as a, a since she's a child is she a child psychologist I can't remember oh, she's a I think she's a guidance counselor I okay think. Well, she's a psychologist now, if anyone asks. Yeah. I don't know if there's any difference. Uh, where's Harley at? Anthony, how did your roll go? Two successes. That is good enough. You are able to find a couple of references on them. Um, yeah, these... Um, These weren't stolen from um, anything earthbound. We'll just say that. All right, so what are we going to do? Um, Penelope would probably try and get, uh, people, like, we should probably try and set up, like, a, uh, an area for, for us to kind of rest while, um, Rebecca and potentially Harley go to see Ludlow, um, not wanting us to be, like, exhausted in case something happens. Um, that is one thing that's noticeably absent from this armory, as he called it. There are no sleeping quarters. Yeah, she should just be making like a comfy area. I'm pretty sure we we grabbed blankets or pillows from Eddie's place. Um, so even if it's just, I think we're probably all tired enough that the floor would be okay. Um, okay. But yeah, she she she'd probably be trying to get she she'd be trying to play Mama Hen and try and get people to 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 sit down and and rest a little bit um, while uh, while they're away. But obviously keeping you know phone on loud in case they reach out and need anything from us you know okay um miss phillips would you mind joining me to go check up on ludlow i got a, a call from creepy unknown number and i'm a bit worried plus we need to oh, check up um, on them anyway yes of course i i'm i'm more than happy to Okay, and if uh, if any of my compatriots are there and they ask, you're a psychologist, okay? He might need some psychological help. So. Oh, oh okay. Deal. Right. <laughs> That's fine. Deal. All right. Uh, the rest of you, I guess, take it easy. Uh, uh, Miss Phillips, don't forget, we have to go to the station at ten to sign the the NDA. You want us to uh, meet you at the station? I can just drive us there afterwards. Yes, that, that that would probably be best. He was very specific about when we needed to be there, so uh, if anything, early is. All right. Uh, remember, uh, if you use the firearms anymore, don't point the weapon at anything other than the ground unless you intend to kill what is in front of you. Please be careful. And why, why don't me and Anthony just come with you, save some time? Sure, that's fine with me. You don't have to make multiple trips, because Anthony needs to sign an NDA as well. All right, if you're not too tired, I, that's fine. I guess I'll just take a nap in the car, if that's all right. Sure, yeah. Um, to be honest, are, are we still cooperating with the police? I don't, I don't mean to sound naive or anything, but I mean, I, fe I feel like we're kind of I'm, at a point where things are pretty crazy. I don't know if we even want. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Miss Phillips. Know what you, we're doing. You have an alternate form of external funding. Bilkins, you've, please you've, don't, you've been no, hiding Bilkins, this from all of us. Bilkins, it's too late. Please don't start. Our, our alternate funding right, is the fact right. that we now have an armory. We're, we're yeah. fully stocked here. I mean, we don't necessarily need anything. Yes. I'm I'm sorry, Miss Theron. Yes, Miss Phillips. That army was funded by the Vatican, apparently, um, because they are demon hunters here. 
we don't have any funding for our group besides the police department right now, so we'll we'll probably need that need income for going forward. Sorry, Anthony. Yeah, what's up? Um, well, I, I just uh, having access to their reports. I I, I know. Rebecca would have access to them too, but having all of us have access could be a great benefit. So yeah, signing these is very important. And then beyond that, if we don't show up, I think they'll probably want to find out why we didn't. And, and them looking on, into us more is probably not the best. Good point. And well, well that's said, all fine. Anthony. Well I just, said. I just wanted to. I just wanted to clarify that that's what we're doing. I don't, I don't want to risk Theron losing her job or, or the police uncovering what we're doing and there being some kind of major outbreak. I mean, I think there's pros and cons to each side. I just wanted to bring it up. Yeah, I have a little. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I I think you're right. I I just wanted to uh, point out some of the other aspects because the funds are nice, but but access to more information and more details are always yeah um and i got a little bit of leeway with ryland i can always get somebody else to cover my roots as well i'm not too worried about it yet hopefully nothing brings us in direct contradiction or conflict with the police department okay <sighs> but we'll i just see. want to make sure we're good to go yeah, yeah, yeah. we're good we're good we're good we got to pay the bills I somehow just, I... right Yes, Blowing I know. Up, uh, I just I recognize you're taking a lot of risk. So I just <laughs> want to make sure that you're covered and us working with the police still isn't going to compromise anything. Yeah, it, it should be fine. I'm I'm pretty decent at talking my way out or, or feigning ignorance, I guess, because remember I'm a junior detective. Oh dang, Ryland, I'm course. sorry. I didn't know <laughs> I, I couldn't do that. I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, so sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work it through as long as we get this shit done. Should be fine. Penelope? Uh, Understood. Penelope? Sorry, she's question. been raising her hand. <clears throat> sorry, yeah. sorry. Just a quick question. So um, it's now Anthony, Bilkins, Holly, and Rebecca going, correct? So then at that point, she would probably suggest that we just all go. Um, if, if, like, you know, just stick as a, a group is probably the best bet. Um, but before we were to go, at some point, probably during the evening, um, she would have probably done an experiment with the, the panda bear. Um, my thought would have been to paper, pen, on a table, um, and then turn away and ask it to, if it had, like, you know, if it has anything it wants to say or anything like that, and then she'd turn, like, she'd turn away. And after like a minute or so, turn back to see if anything happened. She'd probably repeat this a few times. I don't know if anything would have happened, but she'd probably give it a shot. The bear is just sitting there where you okay. left it. No worries. She she would have just made a few attempts to do so. And then um, afterwards, just, yeah, it, back in the bag, but nicely uh, treated respectfully and everything like that. Okay. All right. Bilkins, are you going to try to finish that rune before you leave or leave it for later? Yes, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. try to finish it, yeah. All right. Um, so what were you, have you decided what you want to uh, ward against? It's a ward against anyone in a costume, specifically uh, a costume that includes a mask. That's an interesting concept, rel relatively complicated, uh, but please give me a wits and a cult. Could I uh, use a willpower to get three Absolutely. extra dice? Absolutely. Please do. Um, one success. And I would like you to restate what you're warding against, just so I make sure I got it right. Yep. Uh, warding against anyone in a costume that is specifically wearing a mask. All right. Very cool. Uh, you look at it, and uh, hey, looks good to you. 
You think you nailed it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, once once that's the, I mean, it's like five in the morning, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. Oh, I think no, I no. no. It. At, at this point, we're, we're closer <laughs> to eight in the morning. So <laughs> with everything that's going oh, on. Oh, it's so, eight in the morning. Great. Yeah, great. it's eight in the morning. Sweet. So. And with that, was with, there uh, any speed in that medicine cabinet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could probably find something if you look. I will just put it that way. I am not no, no, advocating I'm, I'm the use of, of uh, caffeine tablets or anything else. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. With that, no, I'm good. Once once that rune's done, I'll I'll uh, yeah. Okay. With that, I believe everybody's on their way to the hospital at this point. Correct. So uh, why don't we take a uh, five minute break? We will be back in five. Let's do.
All right, players, I believe you're getting ready to head to the uh, hospital. Before you leave, however, are there any questions you have about the training or anything that's gone on? Because I don't want to leave anybody hanging on anything. What are you taking with you as far as the weapons you have collected? Tiger's claws. Okay. Um, just how, so how terrifying does my... Oh, sorry. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I was just going to ask him. On a dragon. Uh, over here, some hospitals have, like, metal detectors. Would this hospital potentially have a metal detector? You're that in Chicago. You are in Chicago. Yeah. Okay, so probably not. I'll, I'll bring my my thing, but I'll leave it in the car. Okay. I'm not bringing it in with me. <clears throat> How are you I carrying would, uh, it? Like a lasso on my hip. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. <laughs> I love it. All right. I would also make it very clear uh, to everyone. Uh, Bear in mind that Chicago, it is not easy to get your hands on a firearm. If you are bringing a firearm out, you will, you need to have it completely concealed. And if you were caught with it, it is pretty not great, okay? It will at least be confiscated and you will at least be fined pretty heavily. So bear that in mind. How big is my piece of wood? Uh, about <laughs> a little over a foot long. It would be longer, except like I said, the tip is uh, broken off of it, and it it you know fits in the hand. It's uh, probably about two inches in diameter, more square. There, I saw okay, that. So pretty. John, stop it. <laughs> yes, yes. Same I guy. did something and then realized what I just did and said, "Yeah, somebody's going to be making jokes." Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So it, it, it's pretty, just not. It's, it's a kind of it's a it's piece a piece of, of wood. Um, some cops might see you carrying it and they would call it a club or something. Uh, not sure that would stand up in court, but you, you know, you may beat the rap, but you won't beat the harassment. But also it came with a pouch and a belt to wear. So, and, uh, it is made of wood. Yeah, I'll just, I'll go ahead and bring that. Okay. Also, I, I know you had, you had asked if there were any questions. He said that this wood was kind of like special. Was mm -hmm. he meaning that in just like a, I care about it, or is there like an actual kind of magical quality? Is there a way I could check for that? Uh, let's have a, uh, how, how are you wanting tree? to check on that? That's my question. How are you wanting to check on that? That's what, what um, aspect of this are you? Uh... If there was a, an ability per se, where you could get a reading off of like a, an item. <laughs> You know, that yeah. is a darn good point. I wasn't that's even thinking of, that. That's kind of what I was thinking was the psychometry thing, but I can do it however you want. That 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 <laughs> is kind of how psychometry works. Uh we just need to have you roll for it. And I think it's gonna cost you a willpower to do that as well. So uh here it I is. Assume so, yes. Uh it's gonna be a wits and a cult roll. It's gonna cost you a willpower to spend it and for each success you get to ask a uh, single yes or no question okay once again my but i will give you i will give you a but... short i will give you a short response before that uh, depending on how many uh you get so. okay probably not many but that's we're hoping Ooh, pens explode nope that's fine just one success all right. As you pick this up and you focus on it a little bit more, you get a vision of a slender built, red haired woman. I think she looks a little like Harley, as a matter of fact. Maybe, maybe a bit shorter. And she, the place that she's in, it's it's odd. It's like you can see the stars, it's night, but the stars aren't stationary. They're constantly moving. You can't quite make out the pattern, but it's moving. And she's standing at the foot of a tree, talking to this tree. And you see this for just a couple of minutes, like she's having a conversation with it. And then she reaches out with a hatchet and slices off a limb. 
What question would you like to ask? A yes or no question. Um, oh gosh, okay. And if you if you look at the the list for psychometry, it has some suggestions as well. If you don't have that available, Ooh. I can no, it's okay. Um, I think I would go ahead and just ask, um, can I convene with this tree? When you are holding this limb in your hand, you feel like you may already be doing so. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Great. All right. She's coming with me. Everybody's muted, or I've lost audio. I'm not sure which. Okay, I heard somebody breathe. Good. I'm muted. Hello. <laughs> it's muted. getting a little working for a minute there. All right, so all of you uh, make your way to the hospital. And I will have brought that heavy shotgun. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I assume you're leaving it in the trunk or in the lock or something? Okay. Yes. All right. Um, are all of you cramming into your... Uh, Squad car, or I mean, it's a fairly good car size car, but it could probably hold all of you. I can take my yes. own car. Okay. Yeah. I want to try to fix Eddie's headlight real quick. Oh. Uh, there's definitely enough stuff in the junkyard, but it's probably going to take you a little time to scrounge and find it. I'm not going to have you roll for it, but it will cost you time. So it's going to be getting uh, closer to 9:30 by the time 9:30 or 10 by the time you hit the hospital. Uh, something to put on the back burner, I suppose. Okay. I, I can fix it, but... Uh, if you think I would get stopped for the headlight, I can just cram in the squad car for now. We could always mm. fix it at the hospital. I mean, we can't all go in. Well, part of the time is going to be finding a replacement in the junkyard. In that case, if you wouldn't mind just cramming in with us, I'd hate for something bad to happen. I mean, he did explain that you could be mistaken for a motorcycle. And I know it's not at night, but I just, I don't. No, I got you. It's no problem. I'm just cramming the middle seat in the back or something. Hey, uh, by any chance, officer, uh, would you mind if I put this shovel in your trunk? Yeah, I think you That's, can uh, you can put the shovel in there. It's not a euphemism, by the way. Don't worry. <laughs> Hell, I'd hope not. Uh, did, I'm I normally won't ask this, but we've got some new people at the table. So, did anybody close the door and lock it to the stronghold? Yeah, I I don't know if I if I needed to specifically, but I would if if it's not done. Okay, so you have secured it. It is locked. Oh, fucking weird. All right, let's go. By the way, I did get a call from somebody talking about Ludlow. Sounded creepy, like, like it was from a little girl. So we need to be really wary of a trap. Um, I've got my, my nine millimeter, my, you know, standard issue. I don't have my ballistic vest right now, but I mean, we could stop by a, a surplus store and, and grab one later. Well, they shouldn't. He's in hospital, right? Yeah, I'm still worried. They I mean, I don't think there's like a bomb anything. or anything, but. Just let's be careful, okay? Never forgive None myself for anything happening to right? kids. None so that? far. Okay. Tiger didn't talk. He was just really pissed. Better not be one of those things with like a little pull string or something. <laughs> well, it, whatever hit me up on the phone said Ludlow specifically, so I, I don't know. Let's just get moving and we'll figure it out once we get there. Just be on guard, okay? All of you? Good. Good. All right. um, it's a fairly quiet day. Um... You make it into the uh, hospital. I mean, you know, it's vacation time. There's snow on the ground. No kids in school, so they're playing in the streets a little bit. But relatively quiet. So you pull into the parking lot. 
I'll shoot a check text to uh, Ryland and say I'm I'm checking in on Ludlow as well. Something feels kind of funky. And uh, you get a response back. Uh, yeah, he woke up and he he said thanks for the gift. By the way, uh, uh, I got I got to run in. I got to run into a meeting. I'll sync up with you after. <laughs> All right. Well, this is getting fishier by the second. Apparently, Ludlow got a gift from me, but I didn't send him anything. Uh, all right, I'm very wary right now. So let's, we'll go in um, and probably only bring like maybe one person with me, one or two. Bilkins, you've, you've got the most authority here, so I could bring you, uh, Miss Phillips, obviously, as well. Um, other than that, I mean, you might want to sit around the waiting room, I don't know. Would would danger sense be something I could use here? You can always use danger sense. Could I use danger sense here? Okay. Based off right. the text and the creepy voice and all that stuff. You read okay. my mind. I was actually about to do the same thing. Can I can I do it as well? Um uh, so what what yeah. would I roll with danger sense? Uh let me look it up here because I don't have that one mem- memorized. Mesmerized. I know I've got it in here somewhere. Do, 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 do. I thought I did. Ah. So wits and composure, and you get plus two to your die. Nice. That's a lot of now, dice. this generally helps you with uh, amp- impending, so something that's going to happen in the very near future. I got nothing. I got a lot of dice for that. I, I had, got... yeah, seven dice, zero success. <laughs> oh, man, got... that hurts. <laughs> and so <laughs> eights, not, you got no eights, eights, no nines, no tens. No, I got no, no ones either. But burn, yeah. burn those tens. dice, man! Burn those dice. <laughs> <laughs> Two tens and an eight, so three successes. All right. Um, you think for a moment, and while you do feel like you're probably being watched, there's nothing that feels like it's uh, getting ready to jump out at you or anything. Hackles are raising over here, just. All right, who's coming with me? Just check on Lolo. Nobody? No volunteers? I mean, I could bluff my way oh, in. Oh, I, I would. I w- I'd be happy to, if necessary. All right. Like All right. I said, at the psychologist angle, I can um, gladly. Just real, real quick here. What, yeah. what do we hope to gain from visiting Ludlow? Maybe he'll have some knowledge of what he saw. Maybe he'll remember something. Maybe he'll have some item on him or something of that nature. He got a gift of some kind. I don't know. So, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Fair enough. I, however, will... I'll be staying with the vehicle, I believe. Okay, yeah. All right, Miss Phillips, if you wouldn't mind. Of course. All right, let's get it done. Then we'll head in to get your NDA signed, uh, Anthony. Oh, such a busy schedule today. I know, and I haven't even done any of the things that I normally do. I know, I'm sorry. Just try and rest, maybe maybe take a short nap while we're while we're doing this. While you guys um go in, I might check on my aunt. Okay. See how yeah. she's doing. She I mean she's here, so if you need me, you know where I am. Yeah. All right. And we'll uh I guess head in. All right. You make your way to the front desk and uh they tell you that Ludlow has been moved to a room. And it's actually a private room. Uh, would I be able to see him well, in this I, private room? Yeah, I mean, it's a private room. You can all go up if you'd like. Oh, even better. Uh, all right, anyone who wants to come up, you can come on up. The rest of you can, I guess, do what you want. Don't mind if I do. 
So I believe uh, Penelope's going to go see her aunt, and the rest of you will head up. Uh, I'm going to put us on hold for just a moment. we got something we want to take care of here, and we will be right back. So stay with us. It's only take a couple of minutes. What do you know? It worked. All right. So all of you make your way up to the room, and uh, you see Ludlow sitting up in the bed. And as soon as he sees uh, Rebecca come around the corner, he goes, Officer Theron, thank you for the gift. And uh, I didn't know you had kids. Uh, I, I, I don't, uh, Ludlow. Um, it, it's good. It, it's great to see her up. And um, you see he's looking around, and he looks a little puzzled, and he goes, Oh, don't tell me they didn't bring it up. See what? the card, but where's the... Well, and he pulls the card up and he goes, What? You, you can't tell me you did this. You, it had to be your kids. And you look at it and scribbled in crayon is get well soon, horribly spelled, horribly scrawled. Officer uh. is misspelled. And so is Theron. Uh, Ludlow, I, I, I don't have kids, and I didn't write this. Well, uh, what, what are you, what are you trying to say? I mean, I mean, it, you, come on, come on, you're, you're telling me you didn't send that expensive limited edition doll. Expensive limited I mean, the, edition doll. The Alyssa Cabbage Patch. I mean, I don't even know how you knew I collected these things. Uh, but that's the yeah. only one that they put a voice module in. It's the only one that spoke. Ah, uh, who fucking called it? <laughs> uh, Ludlow. By the way, by the way, by the way, uh, out of take a beat for that because that was a wonderful guess. <laughs> Ludlow. Um... There's some weird stuff going on. Do you remember what happened yesterday? Uh, sorry, not not to give you the. Uh, well, uh, yesterday I woke up in the hospital. I mean, um, I don't remember anything from like a couple of days ago. I guess when I went in the water. Yeah. Do you Officer? remember? Oh, sorry, Miss Phillips. Go ahead. 
Oh, no, I just wanted to intervene. This is, I, I know you've been under a lot of stress, physically at least. Um, Officer Theron and a few of us, um, myself and uh, Mr. Bilkins and uh, a young boy named Anthony Reed, we've been assisting with some um, research into the, um, the, the murders um, recently. Um, and I believe you were kind of caught up in that. Officer Theron's likely going to share with you uh, some information that might be surprising or alarming, but we're doing our best that we can to find out as much as we can to make sure no one else gets hurt. Um, just know that this card and that doll that you received were not in good intent and we're framing Officer Theron. And I know that's probably going to take a moment to process, but we need as much information from you as we can to make sure this doesn't happen again. Yeah. Uh, One moment, yeah. please. He looks at you and looks at Officer Theron and what, what, what the hell is she talking about? What does this have to do with the murders? Uh, Murder? Wait a minute. Murders? Yeah, there was another one in the uh, the hospital. This hospital. What? what uh, <laughs> and all of a sudden he looks very nervous. What? Who? Yeah. I just did, did they kill Mrs. Hemmaker? No. No, not that I not that I know of. Oh, um, Lord. Yeah. Uh, from what I heard, it was pretty grisly. But right now, um, wh where is that that doll that you were given? Um, if you don't That's mind. what I'm saying. I don't know. Even the box is gone. And I mean, it was, it wasn't in great shape, but it was a pretty pristine box. Oh God. Uh, and he looks and he goes, right. wait, oh, don't tell me somebody opened it. And he points and you see one of the little twist ties, like they used to hold the doll's arm in place lying on the floor. I'll, uh, I'll get on my hands and knees and start looking under the bed under <sighs> stuff pretty fervently. Um, Son of I hope bitch. somebody, uh, I'm sorry. I, I appreciate the gift. I'm afraid somebody must have stolen it. Yeah. I mean, it was, I know it was expensive. I mean, those things, it would have been the most expensive one in my collection. I'm sorry, Ludlow. Um, do, do you remember what happened before the, uh, the, the wreck, the accident that you were in? Well, yeah. I mean, um, what do you want to know? I mean, what, what did, didn't my badge cam pick anything up? Your badge cam, uh, the, the, the footage was mostly destroyed, but it looked like you had, you had turned around and seen something or somebody behind you, and then somebody grabbed you around the neck. Yeah. Yeah, what, what was that? Um, so, um, you know, it was after we, it, it was after we went to the young lady's house, um, 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 Penelope? Yes. Uh, so, I remember, you know, yeah. um, I got some rest after that, and then I was, I was heading out for a patrol, and um, yeah, I looked in the back seat, and there was somebody in the back seat of the car, and it startled me, because they hadn't said anything the whole time, and uh, and I, I, I guess I swerved, overcorrected, probably hit some ice, I don't know, and I, all I remember is the tilt as the car went over the edge and, and seeing the ice coming up. And I just, I knew that was it. And we hit and the, the, the airbag deployed. Uh, I, I, I think I got the belt loose and then the water, the water hit, it must've broke the windshield or something. Cause it was, it was so cold and I, I couldn't grip my hands and, uh, and then something came around and grabbed me around the throat and started to pull me backwards. And I, I couldn't breathe. I got tunnel vision. I, I couldn't see and I couldn't grip with my hands. And I, and it just kept pulling on me. And I, I well, it just kept pulling and tighter. And I, 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 I couldn't breathe. Miss Harley is going to go ahead and place her hand on his. Um, we there's a chance that it was it was our uh killer so that's no, why we're concerned wait 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 no 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 i'm, I'm confusing no no i couldn't breathe because of the water you don't understand 
It was pulling me out. Yeah, they saved you. You were found in... in... You remember that old warehouse that uh, that Penelope uh, girl? You remember when she, uh, she found that, that woman being butchered a couple years back? Oh, man, that's a long time ago. But yeah, I think I know that's you're where you about. were. OK, well, it makes sense. I mean, I was I was driving through that area when I when I went off. It's a hell of a coincidence, don't you think? Oh, uh... I mean, somebody ambushed you. No, 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 I, you're, nobody ambushed me. You don't understand. I saw somebody in the back. Maybe they were trying to give me information. I don't know. The wreck was my fault. Who did you see I made a mis- I was startled. I lost control. They, whoever that was saved me. Right. Who? Did you see them? Did you see any features? It's all a blur. Um, uh, okay. Big... Dark colored eyes, uh, round face, um, bald. I didn't see any hair. Um, but the arm that pulled me out, it's a, it wasn't really like an arm. I don't know. It, you know, my hands are frozen and they're telling me that, you know, I had onset of hypothermia, so you can't really trust. But when I, it didn't feel like a hand. It felt like, this is going to sound really weird. It's felt. It felt like a muzzle on an animal or something. And with a really long neck. And it, uh, and it was furry. Um, that's, yeah, that's, that's, it's okay. That's not weird or anything. I mean, especially if you were in shock, experiencing hypothermia, you're, you're, you know, you kind of, your brain is not as good as a lot of people like to think it is sometimes your nerves will get mixed up and different things like that so it's very possible that could have been what you felt and it's very possible that it might have been something or covered or something like that but um well i think one of the most important things right now is when you were brought the gift was it brought to you by um hospital staff was it brought to you by a child um, or um, that was a man was in, or anything like that. I was that? still unconscious at that point. I, I it was there when I woke up. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, can you give me and an, uh, Miss Phillips? Can, can I be looking for uh, any sign of that doll? By the way, while this whole conversation is going yeah. on, yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, wits investigation check. All right. Sure. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's go Rebecca, go ahead. Um. I'll pull uh, Miss Phillips to the side. Just, just one second. Hey, Tam. Um, oh, real yeah. quick, Tam. Tam. So I know I'm with the vehicle right now. As it gets closer to ten o'clock, just, just let me know when it's like nine forty-five or something. And then Bilkins is going to go looking for them. Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and say we're getting close to that point. So we'd be getting close. Okay, Bilkins will start heading in as soon as it's like nine forty, nine forty-five. He's going to like go look for them. So, um, he'll he'll join them whenever you say. Okay. Uh, so Eddie, as you're looking around, you find that one piece of, you know, metal, you get a little closer look at it. And, uh, as you're down there looking at it, you kind of look out in the hallway and you notice a glint of something. And when you go out, it is a torn piece of that thin, clear plastic they use to cover on the front of boxes. There's actually a little piece of cardboard still glued to one corner of it. It's about two inch by one inch, and then that little cardboard strip along the edge. You find that in the hallway. Outside any doors or anything? Uh, no, just in the hallway, and it's probably been kicked around and tracked. Pocket it and bring it over back into the hospital room. Miss mm-hmm. uh, Phillips, um, no, I- I, 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 I don't want to make any assumptions, but I know you've got some kind of weird thing. Can you use it on Ludlow to try and see if he saw anything? I, I don't know exactly um, how it works. I, but I, from, from my experience so far, I mean, it's just been items and um pictures I, I i don't know if i can touch a person specifically and and find that out but um just based on talking to him he's 
I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good at reading people. And, and just in general, he believes what he's saying is true. I, I don't think we'll be able to get anything else out of him. I mean, he's sense. he's under extreme shock. He He experienced hypothermia. He probably likely got water in his lungs i um uh it, it's probably one of the more traumatic experiences he's faced and, and and trauma tends to be not only blocked off but also changed rearranged different details overwritten so what he's saying i think he believes to be true and even if it's not whether he knows that or not i mean like i said i mean <laughs> As much as I would like it to be, since I research it, I, the, the the brain's not always as reliable as you want it to be. You'll you'll think a lot of things into existence that aren't actually real, or believe that lies are true. So, yeah. I, I mean, I believe everything he said. I I, I fully think um, that rabbit was in the car with him, and I and I think someone brought him that gift, and I just yeah. yeah. The main thing that's sticking out to me is he made it sound like that rabbit was trying to save him. Or giraffe. And whether that's... Something about a, a long giraffe. Run. Oh, yes. I, I had assumed it was the rabbit. I mean, that's kind of my main culprit at the moment, but... It might have been more than maybe one. Maybe some kind of giraffe. I'm, I'm just curious if... You know, we 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 analyze the emotions of those other stuffed animals, right? We saw we saw that tiger, and, and it was it was so it was just angry and, and enraged. And, and like I said, I when I looked at that rabbit and those photos and talking to Penelope, I mean, it was it was it was love. It it, it loved its owner, and and one of the right. first people that was hurt was Mr. Hemmaker. And I don't I don't know why that bunny would do that unless it was some kind of jealousy. So. I don't know. It's possible that some of the stuffed animals don't want what's happening to happen. I mean, imagine if you were, I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but I mean, everything sounds crazy. Imagine if you were something that was known for providing love and comfort. And then someone took some of those things and started outfitting them with weapons and and anger and, and, and robotics. I mean, wouldn't that make you upset? If if someone took, like, I, I don't know, if someone took a stuffed animal and started to weaponize it, I mean, if I were a stuffed animal and these stuffed animals have thoughts, that would be pretty upsetting to see your reputation tarnished yeah. in a way. I, I don't know if any of that's real or true or worth any merit. I mean, that's all very hypothetical and far-fetched, but it's possible some of these stuffed animals will be on our side. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I, I assume there would be like a, a, I guess, an overarching puppet master type deal. Somebody who was controlling oh, all of them. But if definitely. they're independent, maybe Have, have we them... talked to Denny yet? We no, haven't, we, have we? We haven't, no. We got a lot we to do. We need to, urgently. And yes. we'll need to, to, <laughs> yes, to check in on the burned out remains of that warehouse, too. It's probably blocked off, but I doubt there's many people there. Yeah, well, of course. more immediately, if uh, we're looking for the whereabouts of uh, our missing gift, uh, Eddie pulls out the piece of metal and cardboard. This, uh, found this in the hallway, so it's somewhere loose in the hospital. Yeah, I don't know if you can read anything off of this. It might give us a clue, but I personally, I don't feel comfortable not just... knowing where it is. I just, I, I do, I do warn you guys. It, it, it takes a, a lot out of me to do this, so it, it's it's not something I can offer so freely all the time. But I think this is kind of a pressing matter where it's important for me to try. Yeah, um, after after I do this, I, I I think I do need to I do need to meet up with, um, Wilkins and Mister Reed. We have to go sign that NDA, and I don't want to um, <laughs> make anyone mad and not be timely. Wilkins yeah. uh, is going to uh, walk in right as you say that. Uh, who are you making mad now, Miss Phillips? Phillips did you, did you all discover read. anything? We need to we need to get to the the police station and sign those those documents. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, Ludlow. Uh, before I go, I just want to make sure. Um, this is going to sound really weird, but keep an eye out 
okay? Because if this is our killer, they might've been toying with you. They might've been doing whatever, okay? So you need to be careful. And if you see that, that toy, uh, please destroy it. I know that's and a he, weird request. He's, he's sitting I in know. the bed and he's like, I know, you... I know. There, there's, there's a it's lot of- It would be evidence. I know. Just, if you see it again, uh, destroy it. We can use its, rem its remains as evidence. It's fine. Okay? All right. All right. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Just keep an eye out. I'm, I'm concerned. So, Harley, I believe you are taking a look at this uh, box piece. And you get a flash of a moment. And it's you, it's your eyes, and you are tied to something. And you kind of wiggle your hand, and your hand squishes and comes out. And then you reach over, and it's your hand, but it's not your hand. As you untwist and free the other one, and then you're trying to get out of the box, but the lid's taped shut and you can't get it loose, but you find a little piece on the corner and you kind of tear that open and step out of the box. And for a moment, you catch your own reflection in this torn piece of plastic. And you have this chubby baby face with these little dimples and a little button nose. You can ask any one question you would like to ask. Yes or no question. I can't just say, where did you go? Um, are you still in the hospital? It has to be about the scene, so it could be, is it still in the hospital? I, I would take Is that. it still in the hospital? You get a moment of feeling motivations and... No. No, it's not. No. Um, Harley will come out of this trance-like state that she was in and just kind of look disappointedly at Eddie. <laughs> just go, well, wherever it is, um, it's, it's not in the hospital anymore. But it came to life from the box, so I don't think it had been tampered with before um and it's not here anymore are you having this conversation in the room in front of ludlow just out of curiosity i assumed we had stepped out of the room i don't know I'm no i thought i thought i thought we were out of the hall okay okay yeah, just checking, Theron just had checking. asked earlier if we could the guys step freaked aside, out and enough. i assumed we stepped into the hallway <laughs> no i would absolutely never in my life try to add any more stress to this poor man <laughs> Yeah, no, Theron, Theron said we stepped away, and I assumed that was into the hallway earlier. Okay. And I would be saying it hushed, too. I don't want anyone overhearing or anything. Okay. Appreciate it. At least we know it's not anywhere around here. I'm going to try and kill Ludlow. Yes, I'm just... I'm just fascinated by the fact that they would drop it off here and then it would just leave. Unless it's already fulfilled its purpose somehow in some way that might be worth looking into if it messed with anything in the hospital. Might have killed that woman. Yes, but, but he also had a card on his table, didn't he? So Yes, and it was signed by her. Supposedly. Maybe... Maybe it was here to deliver that, and now it's it's. I don't know. I just there don't know is. why they're picking on Ludlow like that. <laughs> he Regardless, didn't do anything. Let's uh, let's get down to the station, and we'll get your NDAs done, and then we'll see what to do next. Okay. Well. Are they picking on Ludlow or are they picking on you, Theron? 
sign the card in your name. You know, that concerns me greatly. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna text Morgan real quick. Give me, give me one sec. Uh, I'll send a text to Morgan. Okay. Uh, see if he's up. Should be at this time. Yep. Says, yeah, uh, what's, make, what's up? Uh, just making sure you're all right. There's some strange stuff going on. Mm, I'm fine. What kind of strange? Uh, don't tell me. Just keep the door locked and be alert, okay? Um, it's going to be kind of hard to go in and out with it locked. Uh, it's going to hit the grocery store today. All right, hit the grocery store and then back in, okay? And you get a... Prep, for, prep me a bath or something. I'm going to be exhausted when I get back. <laughs> All right. All right. And that'll be the end of my communication there. Okay. Very good. Uh, okay. Shall we? Anyone else got anything they need to do with the hospital? I know Penelope's checking up on her aunt. I don't think so. It sounds like uh, everybody's heading out and Penelope will be up there. So um, as you make your way out of the hospital, so out of the wards you're in, elevators down and out. Um, Eddie, give me a wits and composure check, please. Is three successes. As you guys are walking out, you walk by the gift store. And Eddie, as you walk by, you notice there are these get well soon stuffed animals in the window. And as you walk by, you could have sworn that they turned their head and followed you. Hey, yeah. Uh... Don't look now, and I mean don't look now, but I think we're being watched. He yeah, I've sort had that. nods his head towards the gift shop. I've had that feeling for a and while. And in the gift shop, you see a bunch of teddy bears. I didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the hell is going on? Maybe that flamethrower wasn't such a bad idea. I feel like we need to find that bunny. Yeah. And if there's a mastermind behind this. All right, let's... Let's try not to focus on it. Let's uh, get to the station. Did anybody text Penelope to let her know you're leaving? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay. All right. She will make her way down and meet you before you leave and go with you. She's letting you know her aunt seems to be okay. She's still not looking much, but she did seem to at least recognize she was there. She squeezed her hand. So. Well, that's good at least. All right, no weapons in the, the station, by the way. Okay, you get caught with those, you're in big fucking trouble. Does a shovel qualify as a weapon? You know what? I wouldn't bring it into the station. Uh, they might question why you have a, a, a big-ass shovel. I could tell them I'm looking for buried treasure. Are you a grave digger? <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll just be right. hiding behind you for protection then. You make it back to the station. What's find your way in? Um, you can ask the desk sergeant for the paperwork. It would be waiting, so no problem getting that. Being able to get it signed. Is there anything else you want to do while you're at the station? Uh, I want to get uh, another ballistic vest. I kind of want to play towards it nonchalantly. Yeah, you know I. I I, l I left my ballistic vest at, at home. Um, I don't really feel like going back and getting it. Can I borrow one? 
If, uh, if you I'm don't mind, to, I mean. I'm going to need a manipulation and persuasion, please, Officer Theron. Okay, I am just okay at that. Uh, pull up my dice roller. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just going to let you know. I don't think you have good fortune in this. I rolled three dice, mm -hmm. and they're all sixes. I rolled three dice, and I got a, I got a ten, a ten, and an eight. So let me roll two more. <laughs> <laughs> and an eight and a nine. Uh, what? Uh, Are no you problem. Serious? He 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 actually finds one and goes, yeah. Well, uh, with Ludlow out of commission, we've actually got his back here. We got it all dried out and stuff. It smells a little fishy, but you can use it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm I'm sure that'll be cool. I'll, I'll hold <laughs> Did on. You hear this but thing about, Did you hear this thing about uh somebody wearing a police vest? We're not sure where they got it from. Oh, you haven't God. lost yours, have you? You you really left yours at home, right? Yeah, mine's in my place. Okay, Chief's pretty upset about, you know, the possibility that they got hold of something out of one of our vehicles. Yeah, that would not be not be great. Uh, God knows. I mean, there's been a string of robberies around the place, too. I've just been making sure Morgan's okay, so. Oh, um, we had a bunch of weird messages come in for you. And he pulls up this stack, I mean, and he goes, yeah, there's like five or six of them. Is your phone not working? Um, Someone I'm named... Alyssa? Uh, yeah, what, 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 what were the messages? What? Uh, they all say we'll call back later. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, here's a note. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know why they did this. They shouldn't have done this. Uh, one of the previous uh, people on, on, on the desk, um, they gave them your mobile number. I, I'm sorry, they know they shouldn't do that. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about it. If, if any more calls come in through that, just let me know. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, sorry. I, I'm very sorry they did that. It's okay. Uh, I will but refrain they, from They did seem like his. they really wanted to talk to you. So it sounded like a little kid or something. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I'm, I'm sure I'll fig find out soon enough. Uh, Rebecca's going to go sit down while they fill out their paperwork. All right. It's just, uh, I mean, if you want to read it, you can read it. It's pretty simply a non-disclosure that uh, if you disclose any of the information that's been given to you, uh, you'll probably end up going to jail. So. But with that, you are all signed and set up. I'm going to send a text to that unknown number I got. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, with an unknown number, sometimes they won't because you can't just dial back on it. So you get nothing. It won't dial. Okay. Great. I'm seeing everybody's yawning, and I'm seeing this both in character and in real life. <laughs> so. <laughs> so uh... Officer Theron, do you, do you think we should check in on that 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 pawn shop? Yeah, we can we can check with Denny. I mean, if he gave her that bear, I, I maybe he'll know more. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good lead. We've got a, only really got two. So you guys have all been through a a fight, a lot of overnight excitement. And no sleep. So if you want to continue on from this, I'm going to require a stamina and composure from everyone, and it's going to be minus three to your die pool. Can I use my iron stamina? Yes, you may. Nice. <laughs> you got two uh, or you got one? Before then, uh, oh. I, I, I actually would make a suggestion on thinking about that. Um, I seem to recall that they said he runs his business at night mostly. And I don't know about you, but I, I'm about ready to fall over. Could we maybe just, I don't know, get some rest and, and, and check on this later in the evening? I, I know I was the one who brought it up in the first place, but uh, I, I got to lay down. I, I understand. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do we want to rest... I don't know if our houses are safe. I'm, I'm still concerned about that, but... Where, where is safe? 
as I'm pretty sure the doll that's stalking you does not sleep. Our hideout, probably the most secure. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, we can sleep in my car. I don't care. Would prefer the hideout. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I've got a massive headache, so it's fine. I know what it is. All right. Are you going to pick up any gear or equipment before heading to the hideout? Because it doesn't have much. <laughs> Just what she's lifted from Eddie's. Yes, Anthony. I'm going to have to ask that we go back to my house to at least pick up some new clothes because mine are shredded. I also need something to sleep on. And also my father will kick my ass if I don't turn up sooner or later. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Just, yeah. Oh, we could stop somewhere, pick up a tent and some sleeping bags, do some indoor camping. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make this a lot better. I, I, I'm really glad you're here, you know. <laughs> I, I'm sorry if I haven't said it before, but thanks. Yeah. We're glad to have you too, by the way. You're smart. Yeah. Damn smart. Well, yeah, but you don't have to go saying it. Uh, um, I wonder if I could, I don't know, order some Ikea furniture or something. <laughs> we, could, we could do a team building exercise where we put that shit together in the, uh, the old hideout. Maybe after we sleep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a new game show. Assembling IKEA furniture on sleep deprivation. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll order it for a, a a night deliver. I'll just get something cheap like a couch or something. Uh, maybe like a futon. Where are you gonna have it delivered? Probably to my place. <laughs> I'll tell Morgan to bring it to the junkyard. Mister Bilkins, where did we leave your dog? Is he still at your apartment? I think you fed him at one point. I, I, I think I've had the dog the whole time. I just haven't been saying it's okay. it's with us. Yeah. Okay. Cause we never dropped it off oh, anywhere. I, okay. I thought you had kenneled her or something. Where? I thought you had kettled her somewhere, just like at a kennel. No. No, no, because mm -hmm. cause you you had her for a little bit and then and then I had her again after the hospital. And then she's just kind of existed in the background somewhere. I'm fine with that. I'm not, it's not a big deal. I'm not going to kill your dog, okay? <laughs> Listen, okay, we don't know that. I mean, it, it's fine. She's really inconvenient during this investigation. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to put my dog to sleep. It's hindering my investigation no, into stuffed I'm just animals kidding. terrorizing the city. I'm just kidding, Sam. I love this dog. <laughs> It's a great dog. At the mention of pets, I'm going to tell Morgan, you better not forget to feed Doug. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to get set up, uh, get whatever equipment you are, Anthony. Unless you want to RP it, you check in with your dad. He's his usual self. He wants to make sure you're okay. Makes a few co choice comments about your history teacher. And, uh, you know, makes a few... Uh, um, Comments that probably aren't necessarily appropriate about your history teacher. Uh, but then expects you're going out again. So if everyone has all of their stuff together, has collected what they would like to collect, we'll have you back at the junkyard. And uh, go ahead and set up whatever you're going to set up, however you're going to do it. You're able to get in by whoever. All of you are keyed to the system now. All you have to do is put your arm in the system. Uh, a moment of sharp pain, and then the door will unlock for you. Oh, okay. Okay. That is going to take some getting used to. Oh, okay. oh, come on. How bad could it go? <laughs> yeah, it's like someone's driving a fucking nail through your arm. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just get set up. We got some blankets and... I'm about to collapse. 
I would like to know what Penelope would be doing with the panda at this point, but I'm going to assume she's just going to leave it in the backpack in the corner of her tent. <laughs> and with that, all of you get, you know, it's restful, it's quiet. There's no annoying electrical hum because there's not really a lot to make an electrical hum in here. Temperature seems to be controlled from somewhere. And then, uh, you know, you rest the better part of the day because you haven't slept. And I'm going to say about uh, 5 p.m. You're all awakened by the sound of Officer Theron's cell phone ringing. Uh, yeah. Who is that? Whose is that? Uh, uh, it's mine. It's mine. It's uh, mine. A known number. Oh, fuck. Here we go. It's probably this... This... Uh, whatever. Hello. I'm Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Nice to meet you. I'm Officer Theron. I know who you are. He'd yeah. like to meet you. He'll send oh. a car. Click. Mm. Uh, uh, apparently, somebody wants to to to, to meet me. Uh, oh, oh! If excellent! It's, it's about way. time. Listen, I've been thinking. Yeah. So they they had demons and the Vatican, right? And we have killer teddy bears against what? We don't know exactly. So maybe this is our Vatican. Maybe. It it seems like so the Allison might have been that doll. So it might be our enemy sending a car. I don't I don't know how they would know where we are. Uh, it could be a trap. Did they did they give you any information? This the, the no. phone call. They said they want to meet me. They're sending a car. That's it. And it's I don't know. It's I don't know what to make of it. It's a could be a trap, but I feel like it'd be much easier to spring a trap just by ambushing us when we're out and about. I don't know. I think the concerning thing is that they know where to send the car to. I thought this place was safe. Well, they might send it to my place. Mm. Uh, oh, God. Okay. I guess I'll go check this out. Um, I'm going to be armed. I'm pretty good in a fight. Um, well, they, they didn't tell you to come alone, did they? I mean... Maybe, I don't know. We can at least try to go with you. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't want to yeah. put us all in danger, but I don't care what don't... they told her. Yeah, Let, let's at least go check. I don't know. Maybe it's a one person thing. Maybe, maybe it's a mob boss or something. I don't from, know. From the from know. the way it was stated, it was not specifically you. It was more of a you. Okay, so just it to might be all easier. of us. So let's let's go check it out. Um, I don't know. If Someone's here. We gotta go back to somewhere else. Uh, that's fucking. So you are all well rested. If you've spent any willpower, you gain one willpower back for getting a good night's rest or a good day's rest in this case. <laughs> How about uh, the health situation? Uh, let's see, uh, any bashing we had already cleared up, uh, any lethals, um, you still need another day to clear a lethal at this point, but since you have a medical bay, if only you had someone trained in medicine. So I think, uh, one of you might want to consider that professional merit that you've got focusing towards getting some medical training. It'll be hard to do if we're just RPing day to day, but you know, there's, there's books, there's the interwebs. You might be able to find some stuff if somebody's got any kind of medicine at, at this point. Uh, they might be able to take some dots in medicine to to help out with that, and yeah, that will I'm help. Uh, that will help things like lethal heal faster. So at this point, I'm afraid you've still got your lethals. I've got a couple of uh, dots in the first uh, uh, 
medicine and a first aid specialization. So mm -hmm. I can probably, like I said, look at it, but I'm no surgeon. Yeah. I think we're going to need to get somebody who's focusing specifically on being your med person to uh, take advantage of it because having an infirmary in your safe place, you actually get some benefit to medicine roles if you have somebody who's dedicated to medicine. So just FYI. All right. All right. Very cool. So here's the thing. Uh, the next step where we go, I really think we need all of you together. So, and since Penelope had to drop out for now, uh, I think we'll pick this up next time with the car coming to get you and take you to see the boss. That sounds great. That does not <laughs> sound great. Oh, God. All right. Thank you, everyone, for being at the table. I hope you had fun tonight. I know it was a little slow, kind of a bridge episode, but I hope you had fun with it. And uh, I hope those who were watching uh, got some enjoyment out of it as well. Everyone, please. And somebody mark this for uh, Penelope as well, in case you take a beat <laughs> for surviving. And I think uh, a beat for role play. Viewers, if you would like to uh, vote to give a beat to uh, the players, uh, there's two beats up for grabs. Just put in your chat there in Twitch who you think those beats should go to. You can vote for two people. I will sum it up, and that's who will get those. And let's go around and do the player beats at the moment. And uh, Eddie, you found a nice clue there on the floor, and you also saw the, the creatures turn their heads at you, so I'm going to let you go first tonight. Who do you think deserves a beat this evening? And it can be anyone, even if they aren't at the table at the moment. Uh, I'm actually going to give it to uh, Rebecca. I feel like she's been putting up with a lot of shit and uh, trying her best to keep a cool head and keep control of the situation. All right. All right. Uh, Rebecca? Uh, I will give mine to Harley. I think she did a lot of good work today, with, especially with analyzing some stuff. So yeah. Definitely. I think she was really good. Kicking that so, psychometry. Um, That's right. Hell yeah. I have like no points in either of the things that it needs. So every time I do it, it's so we it's might not need to work, very good. We might need to work on that. Because I'm focusing now you it know, now. So, yeah. All right. Um, who would you yeah. like to give a beat to? Um, I'm going to give my beat to Bilkins just for maintaining being an ass so incredibly well, <laughs> but also the fact that you just had a claw come at you that was very fun it was just entertaining to watch you deal with that claw so uh, a the beat to you claw. for entertaining us <laughs> with your vortex claw situation God damn, it made hard me claw. <laughs> it is the beast all right mr bilkins who would you like to give one to i'm gonna give mine to anthony for being the voice of reason here he's, he's talking me down a couple of times Very cool. And, uh, and I, oh, sorry. No, I was going to say, Mr. Reed. I believe that I have to give mine to Eddie. Eddie has uh, continued to do some really nice things, and I, I really appreciate how on top of everything he is. He'll point things out that are, you know. But also, the whole uh, idea of bringing in uh, a tent and sleeping bags and uh, like we needed something like that. We really needed it. Yeah. I, I love the whole. It's probably something with a string you pull on it. <laughs> Everyone just like he is also now the shovel master. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now my favorite mystery man from the mystery men comics is the shoveler. So <laughs> that's why there had to be a shovel in there. Somewhere. Something to aspire to. <laughs> It's a great weapon, though. You really ought to talk to her. Mary Bell's special. <laughs> All right. With that, uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. We will be back here next Monday when I've got a little bit of a surprise for what's going to happen for everybody. I think it'll be hopefully exciting and interesting as we start to unravel some of what's really going on here. I love all the ideas that have been coming out about what's behind this, what's going on. Is it, you know, as have these things started coming to life and it's making somebody unhappy or it's it's great i love it i hope that it'll uh, be interesting and uh so we will see you next week for chapter seven anyone want to say anything before we go
Chops. So as always, uh, I'm going to keep encouraging you guys to take care of your mental health. It is a very serious thing, and it can feel like at times uh, you don't even want to wake up. Uh, I've been there myself. Uh, I was counting days off the calendar there for a while. And if you're up against that and you're feeling that way, please reach out to somebody. Talk to somebody about it because you don't have to carry that alone. Uh, for me personally, I, I felt like I had to because I was too proud and I, I felt like I could handle it on my own and I didn't want to put the burden on other people. But that's that's not how they're going to look at it. Um, they want to hear from you. They want to hear what's going on with you a lot more than they want to hear something bad has happened to you. And oftentimes we forget how much the people around us care, whether it be friends, family, even strangers on the internet, believe it or not. Uh, these people that I've met on the Discord server have been some of the kindest friends I've come to know. So please reach out. Take care of yourselves. And if you're doing well, reach out to your friends, reach out to your family, check on them, see how they're doing. And with that, I, I hope you all have a good night. All right. Again, thank you, everybody. Uh, again, check the schedule. It'll be coming up in a moment for other streams that are here on Onyx Path. And also uh, check out our McStabber Studios, where Haunted Chronicles has our long-running The Black Death Chronicle uh, tomorrow night. And then on Wednesday, we have Wraith Life Derailed. Uh, you know, get an afterlife kind of thing. And uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Anybody else? I think we're good. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.